Before you get started, be sure the drain valve is closed. This is required so pressure can build inside the tank. After checking the valve, you want to make sure the regulator is open. This allows the pressure from the air tank to power your airline. Just turn the dial in the direction of the arrow. Next, you'll want to check the filter. Unscrew the filter housing and check that your filter is clean. If not, replace the internal filter element. You can even clean out a dirty filter element with a blow gun set to 15 PSI. You can now plug in the power cord and plug compressor directly into a 120 volt AC outlet. An extension cord is not recommended. In those cases, use a longer air hose instead. Be sure your compressor is in the off position before you plug it in. Then switch on. If it's difficult to plug in the air hose to the air coupler on the compressor, turn down the regulated pressure first. When finished, power the compressor off. After unplugging the unit, be sure to drain all pressure and moisture from the tank before leaving your workspace. These units are equipped with internal overload protection that resets automatically. If you trip the internal breaker, turn off the unit, unplug it, wait five minutes, then plug back in, power the unit back on, and your unit should start back up again.